Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game of Beat Rhea and Fran. This is game 73, and we are joined by the lovely Kristen and Nicole. They have met Francesca before at a Jonas Brothers concert, which is not shocking, uh, but we are <laughs> excited to have you guys here. Clearly, you are Jonas Brothers fanatics, so maybe we'll get some questions about that. We shall see. You'll, you'll get it. If- I, I was thinking about that uh, this morning when I was thinking about trivia because we've lost three games in a row and um, now I'm really in my head about it. And um, I was thinking like, I bet you Noah's going to put a, a Jonas Brothers lyrics question in here or some kind of lyrics question because he knows I'm so bad at lyrics. We, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, we'll but see. welcome to the show, ladies. And we'll start Thank off. You. Oh, yeah. We'll go... Go through, uh, go through the rules quick. 15 questions, 15 rounds. If you get a question wrong, the other team can steal. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. <laughs> that easy to determine who goes first. Noah's going to give us a movie. We're going to guess the Rotten Tomato score, critic score, whoever is the closest. That team will get to go first. Everyone gets their own individual guess. We'll alternate guesses. So, Noah, what is today's movie? Today's movie, shout out Caitlin from Suffield, Connecticut. Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm. Okay. That's a good one. One of you goes um, first. Hmm. All right, Kristen, you got okay. this. All right, I'll go first. I I'm gonna go high. Uh, well, I'm gonna say eighty. I'm gonna go ninety-two because he won that Oscar. True. I guess I'll go strategy. I think it's high. So I'm going to go 87. I think, I don't know why I have it in my head that he, like his performance was so great, but I don't know if people thought the movie as a whole was so great. Yeah. Uh, That's my, I guess that's also my, I didn't like it. That's my own personal thoughts about the movie. So I'm going to give it like a, (laughs) I'm going to give it a 71. What did you give it, Rhea? 92. Yeah, Fran's the closest. It's 60. Wow. Oh, interesting. Wow. I'm pretty sure it's like uh, Caitlin who sent it and said it was like the lowest Oscar winning right, Tomato right, score. Right, right. Yeah, I really didn't like that movie. I didn't like it either. Yeah. He was great in it. He was great. I mean, that's great. kind of like if Ana de Armas like actually won for Blonde, people would have been like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Question number one to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Kelsey from Philly. What is the name of the soap opera Joey stars in in Friends? Days of Our Lives. Right? Is it a... It's one that's actually on, right? Like it's a real name of one? I think it's Days of Our Lives. I don't know. I don't know. So I would go with your initial first gut. I'm going Days of Our Lives. Final answer. Correct. Thank God. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, it came whatever out right away, and mind, I just wasn't. Yeah. Whatever pops into your mind first, we're going with. All right, one nothing. Rhea and Fran. This is question number two to Kristen and Nicole. Shout out Jen from Downington, Pennsylvania. What actress appeared in season one of all of these shows? Friday Night Lights, Nine One One, and American Horror Story. Yeah. Final answer. Yes. Final answer. Correct. Yeah. Uh, uh -uh. (laughs) All right. Tied up at one. Question number three to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Kate from Massachusetts. In Real Housewives of New Jersey, Teresa insults Caroline by writing in her cookbook, Caroline is as Italian as blank. Oh, no. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, is Italian a, is as Italian as? I don't. Re- I don't remember. What um, Caroline is as? What's something that's like? As, I know. I don't know. I don't Fifteen know. seconds. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh. I don't know. I got. I don't Five even have seconds. a guess. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Okay. I got nothing. To Kristen and Nicole. I this know. is Housewives are our weak spot. We, yeah. <laughs> we don't really follow them. You want to? You f- what's something that's fake Italian? I have no idea. Um, it's Italian as maybe like like something knockoff, like a knockoff brand, yeah. like I don't know. 
Mm. I have no idea. No idea. No. Yeah, no, I don't think we have a guess on this one. Okay. Nope. Is it like a pasta sauce? Olive Garden. Uh, oh, that's a good one. That would make sense. That tracks. Damn. That tracks. Damn. I was trying to think like, uh, I was trying to think restaurant. Uh, I couldn't even, Olive, Olive Garden's so low on the list. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever been. Never been. Yeah. Neither have I. I, I have Same. one time. A long, yeah. a long, long time ago. <laughs> okay. Still tied up at one. And this is question number four to Kristen and Nicole. Shout out Rachel from Chas Chas <laughs> Chaska, Minnesota. Nice. What did Kevin Jonas's character in the first Camp Rock movie want Joe Jonas's character to make him while at camp? A, a birdhouse. Psh. Yeah. <laughs> they Final know answer. that. He's Joe okay. Bro <laughs> They got it. know that. Correct. Yes. So I was concerned. I thought it was going to be a question I didn't know. No, <laughs> and I would have been so mad if it was okay. Jonas Brothers. Two one. Kristen and Nicole, this is question number five to Rian Fran. Shout out Emily from Kyle, Texas. That confused me when she sent the email because I was like, is her name Kyle? And then I looked it up and I'm like, it's a town. That's a place, yeah. Which actress has never played a character that was married to Adam Sandler's character? A, Kate Beckinsale. B, Kristen Wiig. C, Adina Menzel. D, Queen Latifah. So definitely Queen Latifah because that was the new, the latest one. Adina Menzel. Why do I was he married to in Click? I don't remember. A Click was even meant. No. Was it? Was it even Mendes? I don't know. Kristen, I don't remember Kristen Click. Wig. I, I feel like it's Kristen Wig. I don't remember Wig. them being married ever. Let's go, Kristen. Wig. Yeah, yeah. All right, Kristen Wig. Final answer. Correct. Nice, nice. Yeah. Kate Beckinsale is click. Okay, oh, Beckinsale is click. Adina Menzel is uncut gems. Uh, Why was I thinking Eva Mendes? No. I was thinking the other guys, Will Ferrell. Yeah, yeah. All right, tied up at two. It's question number six to Kristen and Nicole. Shout out Michelle and Lori from Ontario. In what city do Daisy Jones and the Six perform their last concert? Chicago. Chicago. Final answer. Correct. Final answer. Wow, we got I'm a shootout here, yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, we got Ajita. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that show is so good. So good. Yeah. Three, two. Kristen and Nicole, and this is to Rian Fran. Shout out Carly from Boston. What movie are these three characters in together? Jason Bateman, Leslie Mann, Olivia Wilde. Jason Bateman. Um, what movie are these? Th the breakup. No, 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 not the breakup, not the breakup, oh. the change up, the change up. The change up. Is Leslie Mann in the change up? That's the one with Jennifer Aniston, right? Yeah. What was the last person? Jason Bateman. No, the Jennifer Aniston Leslie is in the Mann, breakup. Olivia Wilde. The change up. I know, I know. Five but seconds. maybe she's also in that one. I think let's go with the change up. Okay. I could be wrong. Time is up. The change I can't up. can't think of anything else. Correct. <gasps> <What>? Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> Olivia Wilde, I remember Who's seeing that when I was. the female lead in the changeup? It's is Olivia Lid Wilde and Leslie Mann. Olivia Wilde's like Ryan Reynolds' girlfriend. Yeah. Leslie uh, Mann's face baby's wife. Yeah. I've never actually seen that. Oh, I remember movie. seeing it when I was like in high school, and that I was like, oh my god, Olivia Wilde is stunning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tied up at three. This is question number eight to Kristen and Nicole. Shout out Brianna from South Jersey. Name the five Taylor Swift albums which do not have a title track, AKA they don't have a song with the name of the album title. Ooh. Okay, 1989. Mm-hmm. Um, what about like debut, her debut album? Yeah. Debut Taylor Swift. Um, Folklore. Okay. Um, 15 seconds. Two more. Evermore. All right. And wait, there's one more, right? Ten yeah. seconds. Midnight. Midnight doesn't have a song called Midnight. Three seconds. All right. Okay. So you want to say final answer? Yeah. Okay. Off. 1989. Um. Debut. Debut. Evermore. Um, Evermore. Folklore. Oh wait, Reputation. Reputation okay, I think we have to cut it off. Mm, yeah. 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 It's a Syrian friend. 
Okay, so 1989. Rep- self-titled. Self-titled, Taylor Swift. Reputation. I think Evermore has a song called Evermore. I, I do I do think so. So Folklore and oh. Midnight. Folk- Midnight's? Doesn't Midnight's have Midnight's? Midnight Rain. Oh, okay, Midnight's then. Yeah. yeah. So Midnight's 1989, Taylor Swift, the, yeah. the self-titled. Yeah. Folklore and... and- and reputation. And reputation. Final answer. Yeah. Correct. <gasps> nice. All right. Ever Evermore does have a song called, yeah. called okay. Evermore. I didn't think it was called Evermore for yeah. some reason. Yeah. I'll triple check, but I'm pretty sure. It's I can see it lowercase. Right. I can see it lowercase in my mind. Like yeah. all the other lowercase. <laughs> yeah, songs. Evermore featuring Bon yep. Iver. Bon Bon Iver. Bon Iver. Okay. Bye. Four three Re and Fran. And this question is to them. Uh, question number nine. Shout out Logan from Arizona. Drake has five time and place songs. Name three of them. Um, uh, 4 p.m. in Calabasas. 5 a.m. in Toronto. And uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Six, six. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, 4 p.m. in Calabasas. 5 a.m. in Toronto. 6 p.m. Five seconds. Oh, no. <laughs> I have no idea. Three, I can't help you at all. Two. <laughs> one. <laughs> 6 p.m. in Canada. <laughs> all right, two. Oh. Kristen and Nicole. I don't, I don't think we're going to be much better at this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, Maria seemed pretty confident in the first two. Can we think of like a random city with 6 p.m. that he's been to? No idea. Um, 15 seconds. <laughs> let's just do, do you have any like actual guesses, Kristen? No. <laughs> 4 p.m. in Calabasas, 5 a.m. in Toronto, 6 p.m. in LA. Okay. Final answer. Incorrect. Yeah. Uh, 6 p.m. in New York. Uh, no. That's a great one too. It's not you're reading. This honestly, is, process of elimination. Like the five I, that would have either I would have either guessed LA or New four p.m. York. in Calabasas is my favorite. Then five a.m. I love in Toronto. five a.m. in Toronto. Five a.m. Toronto. Seven a.m. on Bridal Path. Nine a.m. in Dallas. Four p.m. in Calabasas. Oh. Six p.m. in New York. Mm, not Damn it. it. Yep. I didn't even know he had that many songs with the time and place. That was four p.m. Breaking news to favorite me. Drake song of mine because he goes, "I beep twice, see Chris Jenner, and I wave." It's one of my favorite yeah. lines. <laughs> okay, still four three. Rian and Friends. The question number ten to Kristen and Nicole. I'm gonna play a movie clip, and you tell me what movie it's from. But still, do you ever feel like just kind of I'm waving the white flag on marriage? That's it. No, it's like math. When you get a problem wrong, you just don't give up on it. Keep trying till you get it right. Huh. Hmm. That doesn't even I feel like I don't recognize either of those voices. I don't recognize the voices at all. Are you able to play it again, Noah? Yeah. Okay, okay thanks. But still, do you ever feel like just kind of, I'm waving the white flag on marriage, that's it. No, it's like Wilson. math. When you get a problem wrong, you just don't give up on it. Keep trying until you get it right. Okay, five seconds. Owen Wilson. Five hmm. seconds. Five seconds. Midnight in Paris? I don't know. I was gonna say that or Hall Pass. Time is up. Let's go Midnight in Paris. And Final answer. Answer. Marry, me. marry me. With Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. Oh! J-Lo. <laughs> marry, marry me. Final answer. Correct. Oh, oh no. you like Sneaky really liked that movie. It's a good yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Noah Sneaky really liked Marry Me. Okay, 5 3, Re and Fran. Yeah. And this is question number 11 to them. Shout out Abby from Texas. At the beginning of the movie, The Princess Diaries, Anne Hathaway's character, Mia, has to debate the negative side of what argument? Oh, no. Uh, I don't remember at all. Negative side of what argument? Ten seconds. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, school uniforms. Keeping the school uniform. Oh, school uniforms. <laughs> Final answer. Yeah. I think I'll take that. 
I mean, they're she debates uh, yeah. like why yeah. they they yeah, it's yeah. whether or not they should yeah, keep school is, uniforms. Yeah. yeah, I had like casual dress Friday that they they wrote casual dress Friday as the answer. I've had uh, yeah. school That's, uniform. I yeah, same yeah. thing. Okay. I would have said the same thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Six. Wow, nice. Yes. I'm still beating three. myself up over that Drake question because the cool the cool kids obviously want to couch yeah. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, six three Rand Fran. This is question number twelve to Kristen and Nicole. I was team uniform. I loved uniform. Same. I never uh, wear one. Just made it easy. So easy. Shout out. Yeah, I went to girls school, so exactly. <laughs> Shout out Lizzie and Ren from College Station, who did let me know they'll be at the Dallas show. They will. Fuck they yeah. did. They did post that on their Instagram yeah. story. I shared Hell it. Hell yeah, Lizzie and, and Ren. You know what? I think we should put this out there. We might have to play them in trivia. You <laughs> watch, so because we know that it would be they they would be good. Yeah, they would. You they know? definitely would. But you can't we take any of their Noah questions. Also, she other said, questions. Uh, I forget which one, but one of them's flying in from like Michigan. Yeah, we for, we may oh, actually have to have that like put it out there. Like okay. we may have to verse them. And they've they've submitted so many so fucking many questions. questions. Yeah, hundreds. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and just giving me life updates. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Question number twelve. Shout out Lizzie and Ren. And this is to Kristen and Nicole. What NBA player does Dave write a song about in the show Dave? The show Dave? Have you ever seen that? No. Oh. <laughs> um, I feel like. Who's an NBA player? It's like Michael Jordan, Steph yeah. Curry, Kevin Durant. 10 seconds. I feel like it's probably either Michael Jordan or Steph Curry. Okay, let's go with Michael Jordan then, I guess. All right. Final answer. Incorrect. Okay, can you repeat what you the question? What NBA player does Dave write a song about in the show Dave? Was this in the second season? Because I didn't watch second season. I don't, and either, I don't, I don't remember that I don't being remember in the first season. LeBron? I have no idea. Would it have been a sixer? <laughs> Ten seconds. Oh, maybe Larry Bird, because his nickname is Bird. Sure. Let's go Larry Bird. Final answer. Incorrect. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, Remember? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, actually. <laughs> yes, now it's I ringing actually, a bell. Yep. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever even heard of that show. Yeah. It's Lil no, Dicky. See. You know Lil Dicky? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's his show. I always remember the Full House episode with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 6-3 Rian Fran. This question's to them. Uh, Kristen and Nicole are going to have to get all the questions left, right, to tie it up. Shout out Shannon from Atlanta. What actress plays Jess's mom on New Girl? I can't even picture her face. I think it's... I think it's Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't remember. Jamie Lee Curtis, final answer. Correct. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the Elsa victory. Yes. Yes. Thank God. Oh, We're back. God. <laughs> that was job, dangerous guys. for a little bit. It yeah. was very dangerous. Whew. Okay. Sad we got to sad to lose, but happy to see your. Speaker. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have two more questions. Uh, question number fourteen to Kristen and Nicole. Shout out Ashley from Hawaii. In the movie, she's all that. What's the famous quote Lainey says to Zach when she realizes their relationship is fake? Nicole, this is your favorite movie. What? <laughs> you love this movie. This is one. <laughs> I feel like I've seen it once. Um, 15 seconds. God. Something like, was this all a game to you? Yeah. Was this a joke? Was I just some... Was I just some dumb bet? I feel like that's like. Time. Was I just just, was I just some dumb bet? Final answer. Wait, say that again. Was I just some dumb bet? Final answer. I'm gonna give that to you. It's close, but but that's not it. I'm a bet. I'm a fucking bet. bet? Was I a fucking bet? (laughs) Because she drops that f bomb that really like hit hard for a '90s teen movie. You were like, whoa, they were allowed to do that. Fucking bet. Was I a fucking bet? (laughs) Okay. Okay. I, yeah. I mean, you can I mean, give well, it. Yes. You can well, give it. Was just yeah. like, but you know, just because the not, game's over. But if yes. this was real trivia, For like sure. that, if, but if, we if can it, give it. We can give it. We're not going to get technical. Well, but you know, yeah, the game was, was the, not already over. Yes. Yeah. 
That's fair. <laughs> Okay. But yes, very close. You were on to the you were on the right path, yes. <laughs> okay, final question uh to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Sarah from Chicago, but about to graduate grad school in Florida. So she said it's up to you to pick which city. I'm just gonna read the whole full. thing. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. nice. So currently living in Florida, but from Chicago. Yeah. Okay. What is the name of the true crime podcast that Mabel, Charles, and Oliver were fans of before starting their own podcast? Shit. Um, it's the one Tina Fey does. Yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds. It's not going to come to me. Something in Tulsa? No. No? Something from Oklahoma. Wasn't it like, or was it just a. All right. Time is up. I, I, I can't remember. You went really quick on that time. Kristen and Nicole. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think he's trying to speed yeah, us that. Yeah, that wasn't uh... The Tulsa one was in the second season, I think. I, I thought it had something to do with Oklahoma, too. That was yeah. the first thing that came to my mind. Like, oh, something like Oklahoma Woods, like murder in Oklahoma. Um... 10 seconds. Yeah, but I think it was a different one. I don't know. Yeah. What do you want to go with? Just murder in Oklahoma. Oh. Sure. Incorrect. <sighs> it's Oklahoma is right, but all is not okay in Oklahoma. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. All That's is not was. okay in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wouldn't have gotten that. All right. All that right. was a good we were game. Close. We were it was, close. It was a shootout for a while. Thank you guys so much for playing. Well done, ladies. Yes, very well done. Thank it you. was we so always, nice meeting you guys. Yes, definitely Honestly, competitive, too. fun. Thank you. And please send um, your addresses and sizes to Noah so we can send you guys some merch for for playing with us oh yeah. thank you guys so much thank, thank you guys. guys for coming on nice meeting you thanks guys so nice bye. To you. bye thank you bye